feeling you get when you hit pan on an item that you've been focusing on for so long, especially in a project pan? <laughs> this is everything that I've hit pan on. How is everybody? If you're new here, hi, thanks for stopping by. My name is Rose. I'm a girl boss on a budget who loves to save money and project pan. Today's video is everything that I have hit pan on so far since basically starting project panning. And let's just hop right on in, you guys. I want to get right into it. I started project panning at the end of August. When I originally started project painting, I didn't know anything about some of the projects that I'm currently doing. I just knew I wanted to use up my collection. I knew I wanted to start using up makeup instead of buying more. And then, you know, it has also since encouraged me and now I'm on my low buy doing very well with that. There's my little puppy back there. <coughs> Pay her no attention. She's adorable. I hope she doesn't distract you guys. <laughs> Like I said, in August, I kind of just picked some items that I wanted to start focusing on and it was a very aggressive project and I called it done in four. So I just knew I wanted to be a part of the, the panning community. So these are all the items that I've been working on since August. They have since went into other projects. I kind of did away with my original one that I called done in four is what I called it because it was four months until the new year when I started. That project is no more. I will just go ahead and start showing you guys everything I've hit pan on so far. Starting with the most recent one, which was from today. Um, and that is my Mac Paint Pot in Painterly. This is in my 12 pans of Christmas. And I just hit pan on this today, you guys. So exciting. I mean, it's a baby pan, but it's a pan, you guys. And that feeling of hitting pan when you focusing on trying to hit pan is so satisfying. It is such a good feeling. I scooted up a little bit closer so you guys can kind of see better. You can kind of see that little baby pan in there. This is in my 12 pans of Christmas. Next pan that I've hit, and it has definitely gotten bigger and bigger, is from my Brows 2 from Profusion. This is in my Budget Beauty project. And as you can see, I got a real nice pan in there. I am so close to hitting my goal on that. And my goal is to basically use half of it from this side over and hit side pan. So I have definitely hit side pan. Just a little teeny bit left right here and that will be done and I can roll that out of the project and pick something else for Budget Beauty. I will try to link some of these projects in the cards for you guys as I speak upon them. So you can go check them out. Next pan that I have hit is in my bronze booster from physicians formula i got a real nice pan on this you guys as you can see it is a healthy pan <laughs> the whole side here is all pan this isn't even in a project it was originally in my done in four but i haven't rolled it into another one because i have other bronzers that i'm working on but i still do use this permitting i am going to roll this into a new project at the beginning of the year called beauty a to z it will roll into that so then i can set a goal finish it up next two pans that I've hit. So that makes three pans so far. And this one is two in here, which is my e.l.f. Cream Contour Quad. I have hit pan on two of the cream contour shades. As you can see, this one and this one down here, that makes five pans in total so far that I have hit since I started project panning, which is not too bad. This is in my 12 pans of Christmas, though I'm not gonna lie, I haven't reached for this too much this month only because I have my Milk Makeup Matte Bronzing Stick that I've been trying to focus on, and I have my AOA Little Sculpt and Fixed 
um, cream contour stick that I've been trying to finish up. So this has gotten neglected this month, but I'm going to try to make it a point to make sure I continue to get some more use out of this since it is in a project. So pan number six is my Catrice Shape in a Box, which is a powder contour. As you can see, the middle shade has a very nice size pan in it as well. I love this contour. This is probably my favorite powder contour formula that I have come across yet, and it is absolutely amazing. I will definitely, definitely repurchase this when I use this up. So that is a very nice pan. This is in my 12 pans of Christmas, doing very well with it. And I would like to try to finish it by Christmas, but I don't know if I can necessarily finish the whole thing. I had hit pan on it and I have definitely hit pan. So I'm happy with that. At least I know I have definitely been getting a lot of good use and really enjoying that. Number seven, I hit just a couple days ago, which is in my blushing in Bali. This makes pan number seven. And this was in my go for the goal project. And I set a goal to hit pan on the metal highlight shade here called Sunkissed. As you can see, I just hit it the other day. I was so very excited. When you hit pan, it's just, it's incredible. I love that feeling. Satisfaction in knowing that I am getting good use out of the products that I already own. <laughs> So my last four pans that I hit are all eyeshadows and I will start with my most recent one I hit which is from the Aurora palette from Bad Habit. I hit pan on the shade called Vibes right here. I put this in my 101 pans and quickly hit pan on it. I want to say I hit pan on this probably two days later after I put that video up for you guys. I will put it in the cards. Feel free to go check it out. Really fun project. You can see kind of, yeah, you can see there is the baby pan right there. So very excited about that. That makes pan number eight. And then my last three pans are from my Jaclyn Hill original palette from Morphe. And I got not one, not two, but three pans in that baby. That makes pans 9, 10, and 11 right here, as you can see. So I hit pan in the shade Silk Cream MFEO in the shade Pooter right here. That makes a total of 11 pans that I have hit so far since I started project painting in August, at the end of August, which is not bad at all, you guys. So you can see there are pans right there. Just trying to make sure you guys get a good shot of it. So that makes 11 pans in total that I have hit since I started project painting. I feel I've been doing very well. Just wanted to hop on here and quickly show you guys everything that I have hit pan on so far. I am so excited and I'm so grateful. You know, I, t I say it and I mention it every in every single video, how grateful I am to be a part of the panning community. Everybody is so supportive and so encouraging of each other's journeys. And I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you been doing a 72 hour flash giveaway for those of you who don't know I posted it on under an ad and it was a 72 hour flash giveaway for a $30 Alta gift card just to show my appreciation to everybody who has subscribed and to enter all you had to do was subscribe to my channel but in order for me to have been able to pick the winner, people who subscribed had to be publicly listed so I could count in your entries. I was able to count up everybody's entry who I was able to see. And out of the 272 subscribers that I have, I was able to visually count 60 of you. Let me go ahead and quickly pull up my pretty random app and put in one to 60. And let's pick a winner right now. I will go over onto my computer and pick out number 21 right now. 
So the winner is for the $30 Alta gift card, Carrie Burras. So Carrie Burras, please comment under this video when you see it so I can get your email address and get you your $30 Alta gift card sent over to you right away. If you're not following me on Instagram, feel free to go. Also, you can message me and follow me over there at passionate underscore panner and reach out to me as soon as possible to receive your $30 Alta gift card. Congratulations to you. If I don't hear from you within 48 hours, I will then have to select another winner. Message me as soon as you can. For my look today, what do you guys think? I used uh, the Makeup Revolution Chilled Cannabis with Sativa palette. This palette is absolutely beautiful. And I think it performed very well. As you can see, I don't have a lot of greens and deep green tones in my collection. This is an item I purchased this month for part of my low buy monthly beauty budget that I am allowing myself of $50 a month and it was only $11 in total out the door, $10 for the palette and $1 for shipping. So I definitely got it. I felt that, you know, it would add value to my collection even though I have enormous eyeshadow palette collection you guys i'm working on it you know and that's why i'm doing what i'm doing with the low buy and starting a no buy next year i have a long way to go but i do i have a problem in buying eyeshadow palettes obviously with 115 what now 16 116 i don't know i have to recount them at this point i used the shade leaf right here all blowed out all over my lid and then I darkened it up with the shade Plant and the shade Burn right here. So I gave it some depth and on the outer V I put the shade Burn and on my lid I used the shade Candyland and Mist with just a little teeny bit of Bud. <laughs> I like those names though. <laughs> So that is the look that I created. What do you guys think? I think it came out very pretty. I, I do know that Makeup Revolution's um, eyeshadow palette, eyeshadow formula is hit and miss, but I think that was very nice and I think it came out very pretty. That is basically everything. I just wanted to hop on here and show you guys everything that I have hit pan on so far since starting to project pan because I think that 11 pans so far since I started project panning a couple months ago is not bad at all. I think actually it's I'm doing very well and I have a nice some nice progress. Granted, I am including each and every one of these pans in towards the project that I'm doing by Liz Pans and Plans over on Instagram called 101 Pans. If I have it linked it in the cards already, I will. Be sure to go check it out. Most of the ladies, I believe, are doing just all eyeshadows. I have decided to do mine where every pan I hit is going to be counted towards it because 101 pans by the December of next year is a lot. So I am including every pan I hit because I don't know if I could hit 101 eyeshadows by a year from now. So we'll see. <laughs> so that is it everybody. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned. I will be having another giveaway coming very soon and I will be doing another one. I'm hosting another flash giveaway over on my Instagram. So you wanna be following me over there to keep an eye out for that. My handle is passionate underscore panner over on Instagram. Congratulations to Carrie. Please comment under this video with your email address so I can send you your $30 Alta E gift card right away. Feel free to come follow me on Instagram and message me over there. However you need to contact me um, within the next 48 hours or I will then have to select another winner. That is it everybody. Thank you for stopping by and everybody enjoy the rest of their day. Bye.